Hi everybody, so I am trying to uh, explain the accumulator pattern here. So let's see what uh, it says. The accumulator pa pattern is that uh, anything which accumulates the value into a variable. So I will try to explain this uh, code here. So in this code we have a diff uh, function called square. It takes a value of x, argument x. The running total is 0 and this is a for loop which goes for the range of x means that whatever the x value of x is that but numbers and it will add x by its time and before going out of function it will uh, for loop it will have a running total at the end and that running total will be returned by this function and then there is a top square uh, variable uh, which is equal to 10 the square result which calls the uh, function square with the top square so to square will have value of 10 and it will count the total of 10 square of 10 and return the value and finally it will print the value so if I just hit print uh, hit, hit run it will give me the result of 10 squared is 100 so the result of top square which is 10 squared is 100 so this is uh, if you see it is just like accumulating a value I will uh, write here if on my notepad uh, to explain it Oops, sorry not not bad not bad so if I have uh, the uh, running total as total equal to zero but I have uh, the value of x is 10 and I am doing 10 for 10 times so it will 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 so it will go like around uh, 10 times 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 so it will count 10 add 10, 10 times so this will be equal to this is if you add 10 or uh, 10 times it will be 100 so this is 100 that's what uh, we are having and uh, so now next uh, this you see this running total it was 0 at the start and each time it added 10 into it and so running total gets accumulates the value of its current value which is at the start 0 but it adds 10 for the first iteration so it is uh, it ends up at 100 so this accumulates the value from 0 to 100 so this is called this type of pattern is called the accumulator pattern so now uh, if I run uh, this uh, on the code lens code lens is just visualizing the value uh, line by line so it will start from the first line first line the interpreter python interpreter will see that there is a function definition here so if I hit forward it will jump to here because it is it doesn't want to interpret the value of right now this right now so it will go jump to 8 it will see there is a variable called 10 so you see after first in my global variable frames I also found a square square is the uh, function name and it is saying that object is function name square x so it square which takes an argument x so I have in global values in my global variables only one value right now square if I hit forward top square should come also in my frame top square also comes in my frame and it, it is has a value of 10 right now I don't have any function right now if I hit forward it goes back up there because it sees in this line 9 it saw that square was being called so it go back to square uh, definition of square but it will start from line 2 because it already knows this line so line 2 it has the running total if I hit forward it should uh, tell me that the running total is there which is 0 right now if I hit forward again it will see the counter counter is for this for, for loop and counter is 0 right now 
if I uh, forward again, it will just go back. It is see a green arrow comes here means that it is right now counting unless the counter go, completes all the range which is 10. It goes come back. Running total is 10 now because after first iteration it became from 0 to 10. Now its counter is 1. It came back here. And I need the rank total is 20 now. So if I keep on doing it, my rank total will increase by 10 each time. So it is 20, 30, 40. See, the rank total gets added and the counter gets added. So it will keep continue this for value of 10 until my counter becomes 10. When my counter becomes 10, it will go out of for loop. So let's do this. my counter is now done so now my after my counter is done it gets out of for loop and comes to next line which is return statement it returns the statement uh, 100 the return value is 100 so the return value will come should come back again to this line 10 now and return value is here which is actually square result so I can print this and it will print this. This is the last print. That was the code lens. Hopefully, it helped you. And uh